hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new karibu welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always making time to come and be with me it's a beautiful morning here how are you guys i hope you're all doing well from whatever it is you're watching me from ah so i decided to just do this video here um coming from an interview and i'm excited because I got my first job. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Clap for me. <laughs> I got my first job in America. Huh? Mama, I made it. <laughs> Mama, I made it. My first job in America. Mm, this is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes it is marvelous in my eyes i'm super excited so i just decided to do this video uh for information purposes one for anyone who is immigrating to the u.s you know just walk this journey with me as i explore this new land and you know learn the system integrate into the system and so i just want to bring you on this journey and it's gonna be wholesome you know wholesome 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 so i think i started applying for jobs like over i think let's say a month ago so i started applying for jobs now indeed has helped me it's it's a in kenya we have one called brighter monday so think of brighter monday um here so the app the job site the job site is called indeed i think i'll link it here oh here it is look at it here okay so indeed um i uploaded my resume there and you know did everything um just to get things going there's an app i use to create my resume that's what i've been using back in kenya and i think i'll also put it here these people have not paid me by the way this is just me putting now there in case one someone wants to use it all right so have a very clean CV, nicely done CV, uh, resume, <laughs> nicely done resume. And um, I, I was like, okay, um, I mean, I'm here and I feel like my body has settled. My body is adjusted. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to stay home. Um, you know, um, if there's something I can do. So I was like, you know what, let me start applying for jobs. So of course I went online and I was like, what, what job sites are there in America and I found them but it indeed really appealed to me and I like how they keep sending me you know all these things but anyway I created a profile on Indeed uploaded my resume uploaded all my information so every time there's a job that's relevant to my resume they will send an alert to my email and I'll see it and of course I'll apply directly from Indeed which is so fast just click apply done you know, and that is, I've really been having a, an easy time with Indeed. Like, I'll just sit down and with my laptop, just on the couch as Mikey is watching, and I'll just click apply, click apply, <laughs> click apply to all the jobs that they keep sending to my email. So that has really been good. So two ma uh, one month into the applying for so many jobs, and the first job I got, I think I got two weeks into applying and one thing i'm not i'm not familiar with like the 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 map around here so really i don't know how far is far i don't know which town is next and you know stuff like that i need to learn that so when i was applying i didn't have that idea in mind i thought like where i stay is like a big place and it's enough you know but apparently those towns are different and it's like some miles from each other you know um so i went ahead and applied for a job but i didn't know it's 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 a driving distance like a, a pretty it's like a 50 minutes drive from where we live and so when they called me and you know they're like we want to have an interview with you of course it was going to be a virtual interview for starters um that's when i went now online i was like okay let me see where the offices are and all and i'm looking at it i'm like i go to google and i'm like oh, 50 minutes drive now my driving situation has not changed yet so i don't drive yet or not driving yet so my husband is on to drop me and pick me up at work 
So if it's 50 minutes away from here, he can't drive 50 minutes to drop me, then come back 50 minutes to his job. And then in the evening, you know, it's it's going to be crazy for him. So I had to just, you know, um, communicate with them and tell them I made a mistake. I didn't know how far I am from them. And so I cannot accept the job offer. Uh, I was a little sad about that because it was my very first interview. You know, I was excited, I was pumped. But anyway, we let go and more things come. So kept applying, kept applying. And then I got my second interview, which is what has hired me now, the company that has hired me now. So I I was in sales and marketing back in Kenya. Guys, I talk. God has given me a gift of talking. I've, I've seen even some of you saying how eloquent and, you know, confident I am when I'm expressing myself and you just like to listen to me. I, I can actually convince you to buy something that you don't want to buy. And then it doesn't help that I'm also very good at negotiating negotiating all right so i thrived in sales and marketing and that's what i did for 10 good years when i was in kenya prior to me leaving the job market to stay home watch my key and all that so now coming to america of course i was very aware that prior to me leaving the job market in kenya i was at managerial position so i knew for sure when i move I will not I will not start at a managerial position. So I had to be very open minded about that. It's obvious. You cannot start there. You know, there's a new country, new system, new everything, and you're an immigrant. I'm not saying immigrants are not capable, but you have to start somewhere, you know? So I was very open to that. Now, having said that, I was also very sure of some of the sectors that I cannot thrive in or I would have a hard time thriving in. And one of them was uh, healthcare. You know, I know most immigrants when they come here, especially from Africa or even India, because I see lots of doctors here, Indians, you you come thinking healthcare is the only place you can go. And so you start from the slowest rank of CNA and grow all the way to nurse, you know. So I knew for sure nursing is something I cannot do. Guys, I am so empathetic. Like, extremely you know extremely like i'm too washy i see something small i'm just like oh you know i see something small, I'm like, oh, it's so bad that the other day my husband had an issue and you know it was like producing some pass and i could not like i was just watching him from afar like i could not help and i was just like you know blood is one thing that also just like I can't. That one I knew for sure I can't. It's not my calling. And kudos to everyone who does that because that kind of job is actually a calling, honestly. So I knew for sure that will not work for me. And so I was not looking for CNA jobs. The fact that I talk a lot, I was looking for jobs that will, you know, help me interact with people in that capacity. And so I was very open to starting even in the food industry, you know, like being a waitress. I was very comfortable to do it. But my husband was like, nah, you, you, might have, you might end up being depressed because people might treat you bad and stuff like that. Like, he just discouraged me from it. And I was like, by the way, women, or even my men, anything that you do and your husband is not in it, anything that you do and your partner is not in it, most times, from my experience, it ends up not working. But anything that you do and your partner has given you a go-ahead, it always ends up succeeding. That's from my experience and from the experience of the people that mentor me in marriage, okay? So I was like, ah, okay, so I, I'm not supposed to be in the food industry or I cannot be in the food industry. Um, back in when I was doing marketing, when I was deciding to actually study marketing in school because that's my background, I was like, oh God, you can give me any job, but please don't give me a job in insurance. I knew for sure I cannot survive in insurance. Best of everything that I'd seen insurance people going through, like, hey, insurance people, I think you guys are the, you're the OGs in sales and marketing. Insurance, oh. Sometimes I'm just walking in church and someone will approach me and just that smile, I'll know this one is an insurance person, you know? And I was like, mm, no, 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 no. So for me, I enjoy sales and marketing, actually. But I'm also very specific. I like B2B. If you so B2B is business to business. I like those. That's that's the easiest sales you can do because 
B2B customers, uh, the, the businesses have, you know, spending power or they even have budgets. So it's always easier to sell to them. And so that's that's the one that I like. Um, B2C, which is business to consumer, I'm not so, you know, but I mean, I don't mind it. If it's there, I will do it. It's not really my my favorite. If I was to, to choose between B2B and B2C, I always go for B2B because that's what works for me. So anyway, having said all that, I knew for sure what would work for me. And so um, I was, I was, it, it also helped that Indeed picks my, because my CV doesn't have anything else aside from sales and marketing. I actually started there as an intern. I was in a marketing agency and then from there, um, you know, rose through the ranks, still everything sales and marketing. And then of course now uh, if the influencing bit, which you can see is sort of like marketing, digital marketing, you know? So it helps that Indeed just sends me sales and marketing jobs um, that they, 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 they have or that, yes, that they have on their website. So I got this email from the company that's hiring me. And of course they sit down to have an interview. And so I was like, I was very excited, of course. Thank you, God, so much for that. Yeah, I was very excited. So I prepped for the interview and I was ready. So this is me. Actually, I took, I, I actually chose to dress up completely because I was like, my paranoia self, I want to show you. I chose to dress up in like, this is a dress. This is a dress. Because my paranoia self was like, what if they ask me to stand up? You know, I don't want to do those things of your nicely dressed up to the waist and then waist downwards is things that nobody wants to see. You know, so I was like, let me just dress appropriately. So yeah, um, I was ready for the interview, prepped and everything. And thank God, God had my prayers. And this job is actually in sort of sales and marketing. It's a customer service job. So that's very, very good. I've not done customer service per se, but being an account manager, you know, back for be for the better part of my career, it comes with a lot of customer service. You have to service your client very, very well. So this worked very well for me and I was excited. So we the first the first thing when the lady who is interviewing us, the talent acquisition leader or team leader, yeah, um popped up her computer. Um I noticed there were three of us. And so she said she's going to do a group interview. That was the first shock. I was like, mm. <laughs> you know, but uh, it went well. She would ask the same question round to the three of us. Then she, so she would like, question one would be like, I start. Question two, she would start with another lady, uh, the other lady. And then question three, there was a gentleman. And like that, she, she kept rotating, you know. Um, so the interview went really well the two of us and uh she said after we were done it was it was an easy interview like she asked questions about just personality and things to do with you know customer service and um uh weaknesses and strengths the interview went really well i really liked how she conducted the interview so after we finished the interview she was like uh in two in, in some few hours, I'll make a decision. And if you proceed to the next, then we'll send you an email for the next step. I was like, okay, sounds good. You have any questions? Of course, everyone asked the questions they had. And bim, bam, boom. It was awesome. So 20 minutes later, 20 minutes later after the interview, I see the, this email saying congratulations. congratulations you know you have been selected for the next step of uh, you know the, 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 the onboarding process and stuff like that so one thing i'm learning is the systems here are really different like the systems work so well um so after that congratulation message they that indicated everything that they're going to do and how the process works so there's a lot of um things to be done but they're all being done virtually all right the interview is virtual now, after the virtual interview, they're sending me an email with everything, okay? So, I need to register myself on their um, employee uh, website, something. Um, after creating an account there, now I su sub submit my documents, you know, my work, work permits, my, 
you know, identity card, my everything that they need, I submit there. So it's a process and you, you go finishing and, you know, submitting everything that you need. And then you sign. There's an electronic signing system in in that system, you know. So you they, they send you also the, like, uh, company policies. You read them and you sign still on the system. And aside from that, I had to do a background check. Um, yeah, so there's a system. So they sent me an email with that. And I clicked and created a website. And I was able to do my, my to submit my documents. And so they use that to do a background check on me to see if I have any, I think, criminal records or whatever. I'm not sure. I don't know how that works here. But there was a background check. And then, of course, creating an account their in their website in the employee website so that they can have my database my information contact um you see like back in kenya we had files employee files so these ones they have them in in a system you know in a system so it's 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 paperless yeah so basically that's it and i've finished that process and so uh once you finish they now send you the offer letter and of course I received the offer letter and read it and I liked it. Everything was okay. And I signed it as well. So officially you are looking, all this was done within hours guys. Cause I had my interview in the morning at 1130, which by the way, one thing I love here, everyone respects everyone's time. I really love that. Everyone respects everyone's time. Like you are the one to decide what time, you're available for an interview, mm -hmm. you know? So you have like this provision from morning to even evening and you can choose whatever time you're available for an interview and they will go with that. I really just love that about, sometimes in Kenya it's a bit dictated. So you have to like, you know, uh, show up in a date that they set for you. Maybe things are changing because of, of course, the, the, the last time I did an interview in Kenya was in twenty. 2016 that was the last time i did an interview in kenya so i've been with my employer from 2016 until when i left all right yeah so uh i've submitted everything they received my offer letter which is duly signed and now i get ready for orientation now orientation or training um the first day they've given me they've already given me the the schedule of how things will flow so i'm gonna have the first day two hours training or orientation and then after that i'll stay for two weeks i'll stay for two weeks and then i'll go for a second training all right after that after the second training now i'll start the job and i'll be on job also there will be someone to assist me even after i start so that was pretty exciting uh the second training is going to be a full day and they say you must be you must be in attendance. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, we're going to walk this journey together as I, I'm exploring this new position and, you know, just getting this thing going, you know. So I'm going to take you guys along with us. It's part of Adventures of Marie. It's part of the adventures of being in America, you know. So Let's go on this journey. Let's go on this journey. And for everyone who, you know, is working on the immigration process in one way or another, I'm still wishing you all the best. It's going to happen. And when you finally come here, things are going to work for you. And it's not easy for sure, but, you know, somehow you find your way. And that's why I also do some of these videos so that you know where to start. You watch and you also encourage and inspired. And those already in America and your OGs, please give the newbies like us, you know, advice and tips and do's and don'ts you know in the comment section because i know we engage i know people read comments so you can leave you know something that you wish you did not do or something that worked for you when you when you were you when you're new in the country we have people who are making it big here hey hey kenyans and africans hmm? Hmm? you know um it's 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 interesting um when you're out there, you'd think, well, the whites are more, you know, um, they're more educated and more, you know, and they're better than us. There's that white supremacy thing or theory. 
and it's it sometimes can blind you you know to the reality of things on ground and so when I was even doing my interview today I just kept playing in my head and I was just telling God I'm actually interviewing with whites whites you know like they're applying for the same job I'm applying for and we have been considered you you know it's it's a big deal you know it it is a big deal honestly I don't know if it it's a big deal to me I don't know why it kept playing you know in my head like I mean they found me worthy you know together with these whites you know so that was that was really 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 amazing that's to tell you one that yes as an immigrant you can make it and yes as an immigrant you are very capable of doing what the people who are born here can do or are doing and the other thing i think should be your take home away from this because that's what that's one thing i used to struggle with a lot then i would keep asking everybody that is here when i was still in kenya you know on like tiktok lives or tiktok is when you come to the us as an immigrant we know that most people end up doing nursing or anything related to nursing you know and you know me i was like i know that is i can't thrive like like i've explained there and so i kept asking are there are there other jobs that immigrants can do and they actually end up you know succeeding you know and they're given the opportunity cuz i had the fear even when i apply for some jobs honestly i look at it and i'm like why would they choose me an immigrant and leave one of their own you you know i i I, th- i don't know but i end up thinking about that there are jobs that i actually don't apply to cuz i'm looking at it and i'm like why would they choose an immigrant and leave their own people and you can't say it's because of the pay because over here everyone is paid it's standard i can actually sue them if they don't pay me according to the you know the 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 the, the laws you know so it has nothing to do with the pay so it it sometimes that question makes me like look at other jobs and i'm like mm, let me let me not apply you know so i kept really wondering are there jobs that i can do or immigrants can do that are not health related or nursing related and they actually thrive in them and so this is to show you that yes you don't have to come and do cna you don't have to come and do nursing you don't have to come and be in the healthcare sector you can actually come and try other sectors and you thrive from there you know so i'm excited guys about this journey like i said so we're going to work this journey together um i think i'll start a new video of the day when i'll i'll be going of the day when i'll be going for the orientation and the second orientation and then maybe i can show you now a day in my life or a first day or just give you a brief of how everything went yeah so this video is already long enough so we'll do i'll do a part 2 of my first job in america did i just say that <laughs> yeah i'll do a part 2 of um my first job in america and that that's what will be covered in that so if you have any questions please drop them in the comment section i will not get keep information what for we are all succeeding we are all learning we are all going on this journey so i'll not get keep any information you want to ask any question ask and i'll be sure to answer or if you know it needs me to do a video i will do a video so we are exploring america through my eyes me and you through my eyes i'm here for you i'm here for you right and this in america again like i said please leave tips uh do's and don'ts an advice for your sister or brother who is coming from africa who is an immigrant and they're just new give give an advice in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next one as always remember to be kind to one another love one another and treasure every minute you spend with one another because tomorrow is not promised ciao